Hey Pisces, <clears throat> this is Tara Queen Jamila. <clears throat> Goodness gracious. I am here to do your, um, I think some of you may be having throat problems too. I don't know because I just had gotten this throat thing down pat. And then when I was doing the Capricorn after I did that, and then I did some other frequencies. And so I'm using like a balancing frequency for you guys. So I don't know. I'll see what I see. So welcome to your uh, general and health reading for March, April, 2017. Excuse me. Whew. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button. And if you want a private reading, the link to my website is in the video description box. All right. Um, so I am going to call to the spirits and spirit guides for the Pisces. All right. I want to know um, what is general in health advice or uh, what are you seeing for general in health for March, April? in May to, I'm sorry, for March and April. I don't know why they want me to talk about May for you, I guess. I don't know, but I'll do a three card to start with and it'll represent mind, body, spirit, and past, present, and future. So, if this reading doesn't resonate for you, uh, I'm going to be honest with you, you may want to come back and watch it maybe later or something, maybe later into April because I feel like right now with the moon being in Pisces, I kind of feel as though there could possibly be uh, confusion. Uh, so I want to look at mind, body, spirit, and past, present, future. All right, so let's see. So the card to represent <clears throat> your mind is, uh, I can't even say that word because I'm so stuffy. All of a sudden, I don't know what it was. Three of Pentacles represents what's on your mind. And I feel like this represents um, money. I feel like you're thinking about money and finance, maybe more money, <laughs> maybe adding um, a partner or something, maybe adding Somebody may be trying to do some sort of get together or collaboration with somebody. So I feel like that's what's on your mind is probably work or like work projects or something. Um, the strength card is going to represent your body. So I feel like the strength card um, does represent um, someone that is probably physically in good shape, but they could possibly be dealing with with um, anxiety possibly and I say that because the high priestess because there's something that Pisces needs to see that they are not seeing so the high priestess is going to represent your spirit in this reading as well as your future card so I feel like with the high priestess this is like something that's going to maybe possibly uh, be revealed to you or something Um, so the three of pentacles representing your what's like what what your mind is thinking about like like what is that and and i and this is i probably should have explained this in the other one i guess this maybe could be your subconscious or just what you're thinking about maybe what you're focused on or something maybe where you're using most of your mental energy so um, spirit give me more energy so I feel like not more energy but more information about so I feel like through the month of March I feel like um, a lot of you Pisces have been really uh, working hard I feel like you are trying to uh, build some sort of this is either a project or um, it can be anything anything that is requiring creativity okay so I'm gonna ask spirit <clears throat> to give me more clarity on March and where this uh, possible anxiety is coming in. Yep, I knew it. Five of Wands, Nine of Swords, and the Prince of Wands. So I feel like there was some sort of message that came in from a fire sign person. I feel like whatever that message is, it did cause some anxiety, some worry. 
maybe not sleeping. And then the Five of Wands is representing maybe dealing with negativity in work or either in your relationship. I feel like you could possibly, maybe during the month of March, you could have possibly been arguing with your partner. It's a possibility. You could have been possibly arguing with them about something. Okay, arguing with them about whatever. I feel like um, some of the energy that is coming in, and I kind of feel like Prince of Wands is representing a fire sign individual that is probably um, maybe like a co-worker or maybe like a brother or something because that the Prince is usually someone that's possibly young. It is some sort of message that came in that did cause anxiety. So hold on, I was kind of talking over that. I'll ask spirit what the message was about or what it was pertaining to because the prince is typically the page of wands okay so judgment comes up so I feel like this person is a fire sign person and they may be your partner they possibly didn't approve of something that you did maybe they're bringing up something from the past maybe your partner has a, a habit of bringing up things from the past possibly so it may be something that came in from the past maybe your your whoever this person is so i feel like um you know for the month of of march i feel like uh going into um current i feel like this is where some sort of earth energy had to like some sort of grounding so i feel like if this is a relationship that you're dealing with i feel like you're you you may be or maybe during the month of March, you, you kind of have been maybe possibly taking that energy and trying to use it towards your creativity. Maybe the Three of Pentacles represents a third party that could be an earth sign that you could be collaborating with. Maybe somebody that you've invited in. The earth energy could possibly be, I mean, it could be your mother. It could be anybody. So the strength card does represent having to show a lot of restraint is what the strength card represents as your body so i do feel like maybe your health um mainly your mental health with this, which with as far as you feeling really just ick and that's usually as a pisces you go with the flow you usually don't let things bother you and this is something that is bothering you so I'm going to ask Sprint, uh, not Sprint, I don't know why I said Sprint, wow. I'm going to ask Spirit about the Strength card and um, also more so about um, your general health situation. I do feel like the High Priestess is going to let you know that you probably need to uh, drink more water. Uh, right now you're using a lot of energy. Okay, the sun card comes up, so I feel like the sun card is representing um, the possible need for um, vitamin D and then also um, okay, the seven of pentacles. I feel like at current, you're not really letting whatever that situation was earlier in March bother you. I really do feel that, and I feel like it is represented by this Three of Pentacles. I feel like the Strength card does represent a struggle to where you may be in possibly a relationship or a partnership with someone that is maybe possibly toxic, maybe somebody that... Uh, is possibly you may be feeling like that person is being controlling possibly so um, the Sun card next to the strength card is representing a lot of uh, heated energy but it does represent you know uh, maybe having a lot of happy warm feelings so I feel like like now at current and then going into April I feel like with the Sun card uh, you feel a whole lot better about whatever the situation is 
and the seven of pentacles comes up because you know this is where you know you are feeling as though the things that you've wanted are coming into fruition but the three of swords kind of came in reversed as the next card so somebody is not happy you've got some sort of triangle here pisces you've added someone to the equation but currently are the energies going in to april is where you're going to be finding out you know somebody is not happy someone that's in your inner circle i feel like this is possible sibling okay yeah six of cups i kind of feel like it's a possible sibling type of thing or maybe this is somebody that is close to you like a family member and they sort of uh maybe they're having problems i feel like they are having problems in their relationship and they're sort of wanting to come back to you so whether or not this is your ex i feel like pisces is kind of possibly keeping their ex around but i feel like this is some sort of heartache that you're going to be dealing with i don't feel like it's the pisces i feel like it's someone else somebody that wants to reunite with you um, I'm going to ask Spirit. I feel like this person is probably maybe contacting you in some kind of way or letting you know their feelings for you. Maybe you went from being in a relationship with them to being their friend to, you know, uh, back to, and maybe they're trying to go back to being in a relationship. But I feel like maybe on some levels, you're not interested in settling down with them. Like, I feel like maybe this is a person that wants to reunite, like... And I, I kind of feel like, so I don't know, let me ask Spirit what uh, suggestions, because for the Three of Swords to be reversed like that, it kind of means that, um, okay, the Six of Wands comes up. So there is a repeat number that's coming up for you, and I do need to uh, check on whatever that number is, so you got a repeat number that came up. Uh, right back to back with each other because you got the three the six and the six so that is about multiplication and I feel like this person is going to sort of um, I, I kind of feel as though this person like you have possibly yeah I feel like you've sort of made it clear that maybe you're not sure and I feel as though the six of wands could be representing you know maybe the energy's turning around possibly maybe this could represent that you are going to reunite with someone possibly with the six of cups for some of you Pisces I'm kind of not it's, it's really unclear for me it really is and I, I'm always honest when things are unclear so I feel like going into April um, with the new moon coming up so for some reason looking at the current situation I feel like it's a cliffhanger because I feel like you have a choice I feel like six of cups represents uh, maybe possibly a Pisces getting reunited with a water sign and then I can see maybe a possibility for uh, something happening with a fire sign so I kind of feel like maybe this is possible juggling. But I also feel like with the Six of Wands, I feel like this is somebody that's getting closer to you that you're not really sure that you want them to, okay? The Hanged Man definitely represents <clears throat> sort of having to make some choices or, you know, just being held up in suspension, not being sure but I do feel like the High Priestess representing your spirit for April, I feel like this is really positive because I feel as though there's something that something you're not trusting. Okay, I feel like that distrust, I feel like it's stability. <clears throat> I feel like you are really needing someone grounding and stable. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> clarify judgment in the past also. But the high priestess does mean, <clears throat> when I see her in a reading, <clears throat> she, 
she kind of means things are going to be revealed okay in due time so she's kind of very mysterious so i feel like pisces could be dealing with another pisces but i do feel like the high priestess is going to reveal something to you it's usually it's something important that you have to follow your intuition about so i'm going to ask spirit to give me more clarity about april so your spirit going into april and it, um i feel as though this is where you may be having things revealed to you like maybe things that were a mystery before maybe you're gonna um maybe you're gonna be seeking knowledge i feel like the high priestess does represent uh a person possibly a mother figure um maybe that you're gonna be seeking knowledge from now i did i again i have not seen your mother's energy in this reading so i feel like the high priestess could, could represent a spirit guy so some of you pisces uh may have a water sign that is a spirit guy that could be a parent because the high priestess is usually um also a mother she represents um emotion and she may be the pisces i think no she represents the cancer maybe cancer pisces hold on a second i'm gonna grab water and then i'm also because for some reason i'm having a hard time saying w's and stuff so i'll be right back all right pisces i am back so the high priestess in the future this is representing some sort of mystery i feel like this is something that you're going to be wondering about <clears throat> i feel like uh could represent maybe a person or an energy that's coming in to your life i feel like it's something that's going to be revealed to you maybe a secret maybe i explained a lot about the high priestess so i'm just going to ask the spirit to give me more clarity on the month of april for the pisces okay and so also the 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 high priestess is going to reveal something to you this is what she wanted to tell me um <clears throat> and i'm going to start using this definition because it just came through spirit she wants to reveal something to you that you wondered about probably a very long time ago um but I feel like you're going to discover the truth. So this is like a major, major, sometimes it can, it can represent that. Okay, so if you're wondering if the high priestess has anything to do with your um, love in reading or whatever, you can go. But sometimes the high priestess does come in to represent that. I had to turn that down because I was talking over it. So I'm going to ask Spirit to first show me what is it that high priestess is going to reveal or what is she going to be, you know, what... What energies is she going to bring into the Pisces going into April? And then show me more about more about April 2017. All right. So I'm just going to throw out maybe. Okay. Interesting. So I'm going to start there and then. Mm, okay. So something that she's revealing to you is it's something about this princess of pentacles so whatever it is it's about an earth sign person this is going to be taurus virgo or capricorn and the magician is representing um now i'm gonna throw some more cards because it is something that i'm thinking that the spirits want me to show you but i'm gonna ask spirit to give me more clarity on magician because i feel like this is something from okay you were in some sort of involvement with someone with the ace of cups i feel like you had a really really happy new beginning you know this came uh sometime probably either this year or last new year or just sometime throughout the year um the ace of cups comes up but i feel like there was something that happened with the eight of cups i feel like there was some energy in general of either abandonment or um i feel like you had i feel like the the spirits are giving like a cliff's notes version of it because it was all it was what i was already thinking before i laid down the cards i just wanted to confirm it i feel like you had some sort of relationship 
And I feel like all of a sudden that person just abandoned you and walked away. And you still are sort of wondering why trying to gain clarity on that situation, Pisces, because it was something that possibly had never happened to you or it just kind of was like, what the hell? Now, the magician comes in letting you know that there is somebody that is trying to control maybe the destiny in your life. So this is where um, spirit is revealing some sort of uh, esoteric knowledge or maybe use of and it's got to be by this earth sign individual it has to be okay um i feel like this earth sign individual could be somebody from your past that you have broke it off with but you've still been keeping ties with them i kind of feel like you had started a really good relationship pisces and i feel like this person tore it down i feel like you suspected it but you're going to really get confirmation on it. And I really feel as though it's probably going to come from this person themselves. I feel like they're either going to tell on themselves or, um, or it's going to be revealed to you by another individual, somebody that gossips. So I feel like the Princess of Pentacles is representing them taking action to uh you know just to pull the wool over your eyes in some kind of way okay so that's what i'm seeing either or i will tell you another option if this isn't but i think that's exactly what it is because i think pisces i think that you have uh and it was kind of what i was saying in the past i feel like uh the princess of pentacles uh, represents the energy it could still be this fire sign person but just representing this energy of this person trying to hold on to you for themselves is what I'm saying also it could represent um, the ace the high priestess could be showing me because the ace of cups the eight of cups the magician and the princess of pentacles <sighs> I feel like it could represent also maybe you're going to feel as though maybe an earth sign individual manipulated you in some kind of way. You know? It, you know, the Princess of Pentacles could represent your job interfering with your relationship. Whatever it is, I do see you. You know, this is something you've been wondering about, and I feel like this is going to be revealed to you going into April. That is going to create some sort of burden. So that's why I was thinking maybe it has something to do with work. Um, but you know what? Honestly, it could have something to do with family as well. The Ten of Wands could be family also. Um, some sort of competition in some sort of way. I feel like Ten of Wands is typically when a couple is competing with each other. So the Princess of Swords comes in. This is an air sign individual that's probably gossiping. Loose lips sink ships. Something is going to happen. I'm going to ask Spirit what that is uh, coming after the Princess of Swords. Um, four of Pentacles. So... I'm kind of feeling as though um, whoever this princess of swords is, I feel like whoever this person is, I feel like with, with this person, I feel like it's something that's right on the tip of my tongue. Ah. Uh. I feel like the Princess of Swords, her energy represents, along with the Four of Pentacles, sort of like a conflict involving someone feeling as though they are not getting what they put into something. So the Four of Pentacles is representing maybe possibly dealing with the energy of someone that is uh, sort of... Um, only thinks about themselves.
I do feel like the Princess of Swords and with the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands, uh, you know, just the energies that's coming off of the Magician. Um, the Magician, I believe, let me see what is the element of the Magician. I believe the Magician is air. Yeah, air and earth. So you got another air and earth right here. Now, you do see the pentagram in the magician, but I kind of feel as though this is where um, <clears throat> I got to I'm, I'm, I got to clarify some of these cards because see the high priestess, it's something, whatever it is, it's scrambled. <sighs> yeah, it's really scrambled spirits. Give me more clarity on. Princess of Swords. I know this is energy, so the Knight of Swords. I kind of feel as though the Knight of Swords is possibly someone that has always <clears throat> that has always opposed maybe your relationship, Pisces. I feel like the Knight of Swords could represent somebody that's coming in opposition of something. Whatever it is, it's involving Earth 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 spirit but I really need to clarify because I have no idea what this is okay the king of swords came in kind of reverse queen of cups ten of cups Well, I will tell you this. I do feel that whoever this air sign, whatever this air energy is, it could be a spirit guide. I feel like this is a very powerful spirit guide that is sort of trying to work out this situation for you with this magician. Because I feel like whoever this person is, they could be an air sign energy or they could be, I would say either earth or air, okay? Whoever this person is that's sort of sabotaging you in some kind of way. I do feel like the Knight of Swords is representing thought or perception or clarity. And I feel like it's clarity on feeling like you're just being used possibly. And also clarity that your hopes of changing the person's personality is not going to happen. Or changing something about them. So I feel like the... Knight of Swords uh, could also represent, especially with this, with this King of Swords uh, and this Queen of Cups. I do feel as though the Knight of Swords could represent either a replacement business partner or possibly a replacement uh, sexual or love partner. But I do want to err against caution. I do feel like this person is going to sort of come in. Um, if you are somebody that is with a Pisces, I'm kind of foreseeing maybe some sort of um, <clears throat> shift in energy, um, you know, maybe even <clears throat> some sort of uh, a fling or something. Because I do see the heavy burden um, around your uh, situation. Okay, the root chakra is typically family or house. You know, um, maybe the pla your place of residence, typically. But the princess of swords is representing the energy and clarity of feeling, you know, I feel like I'm being used. I feel like, so I do feel like also the knight of, wand of swords does represent a person that is going to come in. And they are going to sort of rescue you. But I will err against caution with this King of Swords coming up. I do feel like it will be something brief with this person. Because I feel like this is a person that is probably similar to maybe someone else that was manipulative. Um, however, the so I will tell you that like you're attracting the same person. So if this is another air sign person um, or Earth, it could be Earth. Um, Queen of Cups could represent you. Okay, it could represent your energies. 
Um, or it could represent, um, you know, maybe this person kind of, um, you know, the, the king of swords. I'm going to clarify him. Now, the Ten of Cups is your was your final outcome card. So, I don't know why this is probably looking weird. Sorry. Ten of Cups is your final outcome, Pisces. And I do feel as though this is, again, where you sort of find that balance and that happiness. I do sort of feel as though you do have a water sign partner because I was saying that. But I do feel as though you are dealing with possibly air sign or even fire. So maybe, you know, I, I definitely do see more than one partner, you know, in something, whether or not it's business or whether or not it's sexual partners. I am seeing that. But I do feel like, you know, going into that, I do feel like the high priestess is going to come and bring you some sort of clarity, some sort of uh, support mentally, you know, to get through whatever it is, to give you the, so, you know, what the hell was that? Sounded like a creature or something. I'm going to clarify these two court cards real quick. Uh, spirits, give me clarity on King of Swords. Is there a reason why it came in in reverse or what can I tell Pisces about the King of Swords? Because I'm still not clear on this King of Swords. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like King of Swords in reverse could represent someone that <clears throat> is either going to lead to you having, um, you know, maybe, I feel like getting a stronger foundation financially. So I feel like even though you know, the King of Swords could be coming in in opposition entirely, um, just in general. But I feel as though there is something else. So I feel like King of Swords reverse <clears throat> could represent somebody that could be uh, rude to you. Maybe somebody that is going to flip the, you know, flip on you. Somebody that's going to turn on you. That's an air sign. So this Princess of Swords could be a separate person, you know. Princess of Swords could be somebody that... Uh, you know, is coming in to sort of help. But I do feel as though, you know, whether or not, you know, this King of Swords in reverse is the same person as the Princess of Swords. But I do feel as though whoever this person is, they just to warn you, they're probably going to uh, sort of turn against you. And it has something to do with something new that you may purchase, okay? I feel like they're not going to agree with the purchase. So this could be a parent um, or it could be an ex-lover or just, you know, um, maybe it's inner conflict within yourself. But I do see on some level, especially with um, with Four of Pentacles, I feel like Four of Pentacles is... I kind of saw something about um I'm trying to think of what that was. I feel like the Ace of Pentacles represents grounding from whoever this person is, this King of Swords in reverse. So I feel like Ace of Pentacles definitely does represent grounding, especially being next to this hanged man card. So I do feel as though, you know, there is going to be some things that are going to be revealed to you during the month of April. Um, as far as health-wise, I haven't even gotten on that. Um, um, if you are getting headaches, okay, Try not to take pills to get rid of it. Try to do it more natural. I feel like the Knight of Swords could represent some sort of, the, <clears throat> some sort of pill pusher. Uh, Spirit is saying that you're probably getting headaches because you're dehydrated and that you need lots of water. Lots and lots of water. 
if you do drink plenty of water, you're still sort of dehydrated. So this could represent uh, maybe maybe needing more electrolytes and maybe checking to see how you are absorbing. Um, or, you know, maybe some sort of cleanse. I do see with the Ace of Cups that there was some sort of new beginning. But I do still feel like with the Eight of Cups coming up, it was probably a good idea to do some sort of, you know, maybe, maybe body detox. Especially if you just recently stopped drinking. Because I feel like you may have gotten manipulated or maybe... You could be possibly getting manipulated into that, so into drinking. Um, I still didn't. Oh, I do have my phone. All right, give me a second, please, so that I can look this up. Your repeating number. I just had to pull up my reference. No, that's not a nine. That's a six. So you got two sixes in a row, Pisces. And I want to tell you what those are. I think that that is actually a very positive number. Um, it's the energies of healing and being a nurturer. Um, the energy of the number six symbolizes the principle of nurturing, caring, and harmony. And signifies the need for stability in all areas of your life and relates to home and family, society, possessions, planetary issues, and concrete tangibles. <clears throat> Angel number six appearing repeatedly tells of the ability to use the imagination about the intellect combined to bring about positive outcomes. When sixes appear repeatedly, your angels are telling you to be aware to balance your thoughts, worries, or concerns about material and financial issues with a focus and faith in the spiritual realm. A positive vibration and focus will bring about positive results. The repeating angel number 66 is a message to trust the universe and your angels with supporting and assisting you in achieving and manifesting your desires. <clears throat> So whatever, desi whatever you desire, you will attain it with the help and guidance from your angels, okay? I feel like it is your health is a concern. I feel like it's, a, it, I feel like it's either head or stomach, okay? And I do feel like instead of, because, um, you know, this card just may say to me that maybe your doctor... You know, I just see kind of maybe like some pills being pushed to you or something. And I feel like Spirit is saying that if you're dehydrated, you need to drink water. And you also probably want to take some cleansing baths, you know, with the Ten of Cups. Okay, so you may need to, you know, if you're used to taking a lot of showers, you know, maybe you need to take like a cleansing cleansing bath and I do kind of see maybe that could be what it is because the ace of pentacles uh, could represent some sort of home purchase or something maybe house purchase or something possibly but anyway <clears throat> I think that is it I think the ten of cups is a really good outcome I would say that um, I, I guess I, I guess I'll throw another card uh, what is it that some, I, you know what, I was going to clarify judgment. So it's probably judgment as far as your health. Okay, it, pro it probably has something to do with that, especially if you are not, you know, getting enough fluids. If you, um, if you're not getting enough fluids or food, maybe if you've got stomach problems or something, or maybe, all right, so I'm going to ask Spirit to give me clarity on judgment in the past okay so seven of wands this is where you feel stuck so i do feel like stomach issues maybe either stomach issues or either congestion or again headaches okay uh, maybe headaches or maybe even you know possible um Oh, 
what am I trying to think about with the seven of wands? I feel like it could represent maybe, um, you know, feeling really stuffy, the seven of wands. I feel like it represents because seven of wands is when things are not moving. So I'm thinking maybe constipation. Okay, constipation, headaches, something either stomach or head is what I'm picking up on. <clears throat> Whatever it is, it's 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 affected. It's it's because of the anxiety, but I feel like it is a person that makes you feel like you're stuck. That you know that has something to do with the judgment. You know, or maybe, you know, kind of getting, what in the world was that? <sighs> anyway, so I do feel as though this and this goes together, this Ten of Wands. So I feel like Seven of Wands does represent some kind of stress or tension, okay? So instead of taking pills, probably drinking plenty of water. And then also maybe doing cleanses or something is what I would suggest. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want a private reading with me. The link to the website is in the video description box. Okay. Thank you for watching. Namaste.